1000. Here the flow is stable for radius number below 40. For high number numbers the flow is unstable. This animation shows the flow pattern for 1000. Here I show flow around the circular cylinder for two times. It's uh, to show vortex sheeting at the Reynolds equal 100. This is the temperature button for another configuration in analysis. It is a square cavity and here is the cylinder. Uh, this is a three-dimensional thermal diverging flow in a duct and I show thermal distribution along the duct. Here I show separation from curved surface. Here you see reverse flow from first. And here you see this is the range as this is the lattice Boltzmann limit simulation. So here I see U velocity, W velocity and distribution of pressure in this channel. Here I show flow and filtration through highly light proper microstate suspending porous particle used for complex geometry. So here I see this is the second uh, simulation for perforation with the same method. And this I show two phase flow coupling constant, mixture composition. Rock water PT, flow rate, and monitor evaporation of interface as a function of time. Here I show LDM simulation on waiting phase and waiting phase in blue. This is experimental data, this is our simulation. You can see a good agreement. This is a simulation behind the car. Uh, method. Second simulation. Thank you. Any question? Uh, the lattice Boltzmann? 
in the pyramid uh, presented in the paper of your presentation. In position. In the position. And not another question. What is the limitation of this uh, method? That direct numerical simulation. It, 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 it uh, considers no matter, no matter, any matter in the same position in the DNS. You see here I write LBM. The position of LBM is it is a, it is a DNS direct numerical simulation approach. The second question is and the limitation of this uh, method. Yes, the limitation. Yeah, yeah. The limitation you have a big, a big computer for simulation. Yeah. Because it, it uses a DNS. Yeah. Yes. You don't work, you can't work uh, and simulate flu and uh, interact with this in the uh, laptop. Yes. In the station? Yes, yes, you have a big station. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we have time. Short question, please. Very difficult. It turned out that solving the robotic equation can be difficult because of this term, the right term GF. So, in the button and cross stroke equation model, we modelize this term by this equation. By this equation, <coughs> it's uh, very, very simple. Where f t is the equilibrium distribution fraction and time is the uh, time relaxation. So, there are uh, several uh, phase of streaming in particles along this line. Sorry? Here we see a number of the papers uh, accumulated with this methods from 1919 to now, and it's a very, very high paper number of papers. So, in this slide, I show you can use it in various fields. You can use it in physics, mathematics, from physics, mathematics to lineology, geochemistry, and geophysics. Uh, in the military physics, chemistry, and so on. So, what is the process modeling? There are three levels of modeling. The first, we see microscopic. This is a microdynamic abelisium. It's an intermolecular potential which work on molecules. The microscopic concerns the dynamic of solids and fluids. Uh, which worked on the wood conservation, conservation equation, solid and more fluid medium. And I, that I said before, mesoscopic use cellular is from cellular gas or the mountain concepts. It could put Boltzmann equation and latest, and it concerns solids and fluids particles. So, for static mechanics, you have to use. Uh, to start from Boltzmann equation using molecules with kinetic energy, momentum, collision, mean, and free path. You can find continuum mechanics. You can find from this equation, Navier-Stokes equation, with continuous medium, and find density, temperature, concentration, pressure, viscosity, etc., etc. This is. Uh, uh, thematic uh, in Boltzmann approach, and this is the latest in three dimensions, which use polymeric mesh, discrete velocities, and it's uh, used probabilistic. Uh, it is a probabilistic description. So, when you have, you, you, you would like to work on real fluid. Uh, this is you, you can. Uh, <coughs> work on free molecule in continuous space. And uh, when you use continuum kinetic theory, you have to use microscopic particles. This is the idea of Boltzmann. Uh, when uh, this is a, a comparison between LB, Gita, and uh, the traditional CFP. Conventional CFP in 
Navier Stokes equation and use final difference, final element, final volume. You have to integrate your equation to solve the equation of even mesh and apply partial differential equation with the only condition and then and finally take, take the credits. But when you use latest postmodern, you have to work only on the uh, equation of the lattice Boltzmann. This correct formulation and you it in paper. Voilà. No further approximation. The equation are already in this correct form. Uh, for numerical integration, you have to solve the latest and apply kinetic based boundary condition. Simple conversion to fluid variable to get density, velocity, property, concentration. This is your results and you can plot them. <coughs> so the results concern for all the two approaches, the dynamic quantity at discrete points in space and time. Typical claims, CF, you can uh, see a literature, but it is suited for fluids in complex geometry, efficient for complex fluids, especially multi-phase flows, easy to vectorize, very good scaling and parallel matrix, no numerical scheme, because it's based on cellular automata and easy to program. Now, does LPGCA handle better job than conventional job. In other words, easy, competitively, easy, easy to computationally efficient method. For me, yes. This is, I would like to talk about the advantage of this approach. This approach is a linear and exact attraction operator. It uses conservative scheme for mass and the momentum. No numerical viscosity. But it has some disadvantage. Conditionally stable, it uses Cartesian isotropic rights and is inherently from the scheme. You can't treat stationary equations. This slide shows some computational aspects. Basic sets square, it uses squares or and cubes. It is coupled, it, it, is, it make a coupling between space and time resolution. That is Boltzmann equation, order is accurate with respect to the standard solution of the incompressible Navier Stokes equation. It, is a, you, it uses HP's nature and local stencil. So, lattice Boltzmann equation models were very, very well suited for vectorization and parallelization. But the good difference for me between this method and the Navier Stokes equation, it, uh, it does not consider a partial equation and it does not solve it. There is no numerical viscosity and it is very efficient, explicit time stepping scheme. High accelerated number. We can fit also turbulence and laminar flows with this method. Uh, <coughs> it uses idle dynamic boundary condition uh, through the distribution. And uh, lastly, it, it is a conservative scheme for men and women. What is about traditional approach? Uh, <coughs> that uh, approach to second uh, symmetric final difference in space, explicit first in time. It is unconditionally unstable for advection equation. And uh, it is subjected to the Reynolds, cell Reynolds number. Final volume is second order in space, explicit in time. Final difference is implicit in space and time. You can also use the other methods like spectral method, like meshless methods, SPH, XLM, etc. And you can use the final element method. General statement regarding the effectiveness of LGK is compared to all of these approach is not justified in general.
this in this slide I show that this uh, uh, capability uh, uh,
uh, materials is, which is was subjected to thermal source and uh, at your right you see material which it was subjected to temperature difference uh, the other faces being adiabatic and you see here isotopes uh, this is a picture which shows a simulation of sedimentation in a closed cavity and here a simulation of a drainage contamination in a porous medium and here we have uh, reliable simulation of axial heat conduction on micro channel. Here we show the drainage between uh, there is a, the, in a medium and this simulation, uh, we, well, this simulation has uh, it is subjected to a five to uh, <coughs> over three data set simulation for an intersynchronous processor. At HPCB. This is a, a simulation of percolation. We did a percolation through to various media. Simulation of the mass of now waiting for the red bubbles and fertilizing through the porous medium with the dense wetting fluid. The, fluid. the two fluids have the same viscosity and the porous medium is 0.8. This is the Rayleigh banner convection and Rayleigh, uh, this the data, you have the 200 and see cells on the latest parameter is equivalent and delta T is equal 10 minus 3. When Rayleigh is uh, very, very superior to the uh, uh, critical Rayleigh number, the number of convection cells double until caustic Rayleigh comes into being. This is the main program of this method, and here I show the I show a simulation of all the cylinder. This is two simulation. Here I show time average three miles. Time is equal to one one.